waited so long. Oi, lads. Fancy an outing to join that sheep? Fancy a gander out of... Show me what you got. See ya. Let's see if a common folk. Slower. Focus on the go, go. Yeah, take it easy. Spot a cider for you, or a bit of dry curd. My ladder's not exactly burst him, but what I got sure to please. Like to take a look. Farewell. Got eyes like a cat. You catch mice too. Come on, Roach. We'll get him. Hey, look. Some strip. Ever heard of you? What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured algaries. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened pustules all over him. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone, for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Who the hell do you think you are? A witcher. A witcher? Hear that, boys? Either Velen's got a bumper crop of witches, or this is the bastard who cut down our boys at the crossroads. Better fight a witcher. <laughs>
open up, it's safe now. Devils. Who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh, a man. Nay, a wolf. Grey, though not old. Tis he the peller awaits. Recognize this. Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. So, designed to protect her, from what? Oh, the uh, besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. As long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat, impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing! She loves it! Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. This way, I think. Another clue. Good. This way, I think. Good. Another clue. Good. This way, I think. Another clue. Good. Another clue. Good.
another clue. This way, I think. Here, goat. Here, princess. Hoofed and horned. Should have known it would be stubborn. Come on, let's go see the beller. Come on, take you back to the beller. Misses you something awful. Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? Come on, damn it. Where the hell did you go? bringing this bell for you to follow. You're no roach, but I bet we could be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Princess, flee not from the Pella, for there are wolves about. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. being fine be right back will this do She miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. 
or perhaps he had no wish to remember. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. The princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Go, go. Move it. Tottering about again. Go calm him down. Oswin! Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? It ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable! We've got to save him! He'll burn alive! Him and the horses! See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Our bloody barons will come with you, sir, now! You! You! Where do I know you from, eh? Ah, right! The Witcher! Come, drink with me! Pale as a ghost, you are. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! <sighs> Shit, fire spreading. They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick!
We need to talk. <laughs> Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. You knew they had run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? I. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not, but that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? I took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna 
the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher? My child was dead. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. <laughs> Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Still not sure what to do. Whatever you decide, we must put an end to my child's suffering. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botchlings on the prowl. Look! Get back.
something! Kill my child. You know I had to. You were supposed to lift the curse. Save it, damn you. Not kill it. Shut up before you wake someone. Last thing we need is a crowd. Fuck it. I don't blow and care, hear me? You killed my child. I killed a botchling. Your daughter died a while back. Go home. Get yourself together. I'll try to find your other daughter, the one who's still alive. What... what will you do with that blood? Me? Nothing. Just hope that Peller knows what to do with it. Go home. I'll come see you once I know something. Spot a cider for you? Or a bit of dry curd? Me lad is not exactly burst him, but what I got sure to please. Like to take a look. Farewell.
White Wolf. Wise Wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Got the botchling's blood. Know what to do? How to find Anna and Tamara? Blood, blood, blood. The Pella knows, knows the ritual, ritual to summon the spirits. The Pella will take the blood. All right, let's see if these old rituals hold any sway in these foul times. You wish to go right away? Yeah, don't see any sense in waiting. So shall it be. The White Wolf must follow the Pella. The Pella will show the way. We got a long way to go? Nah, no, it's not far. Through the village, then the wood, and there we will be. All this the Baron's land? It is now. It were not before. So who did it belong to? To the Lord. Serard, they called him. An evil man he were. Vile. He had not a lick for common folk. You all get together and drive him away? When the Black Ones came, the Lord to the tower on Fike Isle fled. The invaders set the fields afire, and a great hunger descended on us all, while the Lord in abundance wallowed there in the Tower of Mice. But the old gods, in their ire, upon him visited a punishment. A plague of rodents swarmed the isle. At first, they ate all from the feast tables. Then, the Lord and all his court they devoured. Local guards oh, just take no pretty up to us. Both the poor of them, and swear the might to concern themselves with the poor, and the invaders would be punished. The chance they've already done. And will devour them all. As the mice devoured the Lord's court. It is not give us a rest. White Wolf must follow. Nearly there. Nearly there. What is this place? Shh. The Wolf and Glade. Nice name. White Wolf should feel right at home. The White Wolf. Aye, good balance. For terrible things happened here of yore. To this day, none dare mention the name aloud. Here, the place. What now? Light the fires. All right, no reason to dawdle. Prepare and prepare well. Once the spirits appear, there'll be no recourse, no turning back. Nothing like a little encouragement. Light the fires. The Pella will treat that as his sign to begin. Ready. The fires. Watch them. Let nothing break the circle. By the powers of earth and sky, by the world that was to be your home, I, who have tasted your blood, summon you to guide me. Come, blood unborn. Come, blood spurned. Come, blood never named. Hear me upon the paths. Lead me along the trail of those bound to you by blood. Damn it. Supposed to keep the fires lit.
die. Was she the blood of her blood? Was she them bound? The blood calls. I'm leaving Finnick. Tamara's coming with me. Was she afraid to be swollen, pulsing with blood? Blood! Dark upon a pale visage. A drop trickles over bright gold. The fist is grasped. I am dark in blood beneath a white nail. I am a tear of blood. summons me. Just a bit further, Mum. Hold on. Blood leaves her face. Thorny boughs snag her. Stop her. I am a drop on a web. Will Wojtek wait? Dark blood carries the question downriver. Why do you seek the child of elder blood? Nay is the time of the white frost and white light, the time of madness and disdain. The world shall perish amidst ice and be reborn of elder blood, of a planted seed. What can you possibly offer? You all right? Yes. Is it over? It's done. The Pella's seen what he was meant to say. What did you see first? The Pella saw the Baron and Mrs. Anna. They quarreled. He did not wish for her to leave. He shook her. But the Pella sensed no anger in him. He wounded her, and in the blood, the Pella sensed love. A love sad and tormented. Didn't fully understand what the second vision was about. Anna miscarried, blood everywhere. Suffering, the Pella felt it on her. She died her daughter's death. Third vision seems most important. Mm, they were walking through the woods, both weak, but for different reasons. Yet both knew where they were going. Not sure I heard you right, but you mentioned a Wojtek. Hope filled both their hearts at the thought of him. Hmm. And the prophecy at the end? is Lean's words, you quoted them, and then asked me a question. Forgive the Pella. He knows not what you mean. Spirits. The spirits speak through the ritual, not he. This Wojtek from your vision. Know him? Wojtek, Wojtek. 
Two Voitex have we near about. In Black Bow lives one. In his hut, there he stays, as for years. Gophers, with gophers he lives, they say. And he could remember a time when in these lands dwelled only elves. And the other? Somehow I doubt they went to a century-old rodent lover for help. A fisherman. A family he has lives in a secluded hut near the river's mouth. Time I was on my way. Thanks for your help. Refuse? Why, the Pella could never have refused. A man seeks to do good in life, but evil is unavoidable. The ones who encounter evil, why, they must be helped. Fare thee well, and may the gods bless and keep you. <laughs>